Okay, question six, trace table question. There's one on every exam, so practice them. This is a really nice one, actually. Um, they, they're generally like this. They may have an array in them, which just adds a little bit more complexity, but it's, they're no more difficult. You just take take them one step at a time. So we've got our flow chart. It tells us a bit about it. The flow chart represents an algorithm that performs a process on a group of values out of input. The algorithm will fail if the first value of any group is zero. An input of minus one will terminate the algorithm. So we've got some data here that we'll use whenever we see input. So with these, every time you see the word input, then you will take the next value from the list. So keep track of where you are. So let's have a look and get going. So after start, we have total. We're setting total to zero. We're also setting count to zero as well. Then we're on input value. So we take our first value from the list. That's 25. So we've used that. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No. So total is now going to become total plus value. So total is zero, value is 25. Zero plus 25 is 25. Count is going to be count plus one. So count is going to go to one. And then we come back up around. So we input our next value. So now we're on 35. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No. Total is total plus value. So we're now on 60. So 25, so total plus value, 25 plus 35, 60. Count is count plus one. Count's gonna to go to two. And we go back around again. We input our next value, three. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No. Total is total plus value. So we have 60 plus three, 63. Count is count plus one. So we're on three. We come back around. We input our next value. The value is zero. Is value equal to zero? Yes, it is. Okay, so an average is now going to be assigned total divided by count. So total is 63, and count is three. So 63 divided by three is 21. And then we output total is and the total. So we need to be careful here. So I'm going to go across and we need to write it exactly as it is. Total, you don't need the quote marks. And um, 63. And then on the next line, average is and average. So get the capitals as they've got them, try and get everything as, as they've got it in the question. So average is 21. So now we come back to the start. So the next thing we have to do, so I'm going to come down to the next line. We're going to set total to zero, count to zero, and then we input our next value. So we are actually here. So we're on 57. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No. Total is total plus value. So total is now zero. Value is 57. So 0 plus 57 is 57. Count is count plus 1. We come back around. And we input our next value. Our next value is 20. Is value equal to 0? No, it's not. Is value equal to 1? No, it's not. No, it's not. Total is total plus value. So we are on 77. 57 plus 20. Count is count plus 1. Um, something really important here. Because you may see a pattern, I've just... Um, stop for a second. Don't assume you know what's going to happen next because you might fall into a trap where actually one of the values does something different that you don't expect. So work through it step by step as, we, as we're doing. Okay, so we count this count plus one. We're down here. So we're going to come back around, input our next value. So we now have 25. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No, it's not. Total is total plus value. So we're on 90, we're on 102. Count is count plus one. So we're on three. 
and we come back around again and we input value and we have 18. Is value equal to zero? No. Is value equal to minus one? No. Total is total plus value. So we're now on 120, which is good because it makes the maths nice and straightforward. Count is count plus one. That's going to go up to four. And we come back around. Input value. So our next value is zero. Is value equal to zero? Yes, it is. So now we come across. An average is going to be assigned total divided by count. So the total is 120. Count is four. So uh, 120 divided by 4 is 30. So let's set our average to 30. And then we output total is, and the current total is 120. And then the next one up here, average is, and we have 30. OK. Back around we go. So we set total to zero, count to zero. Oh, I'm going to come down to the next line because think of it as we're sort of moving along and down. Count to total to zero, count to zero, input our next value. So our next value is minus one. Its value to zero. No, it's value equal to minus one. Yes, it is. So we stop. And um, before we look at the mark scheme, let's just um, look at the purpose of, of the algorithm. So what, basically what we have to do is just describe what we're doing. So um, we're inputting a set of numbers. Then we use zero to say when we finished entering the set of numbers. And once we enter zero, we're working out the total and the average, and then we can move on to the next set of numbers and we can keep repeating that process until we, we enter a minus one to stop the program. So I'm not going to write all that out. Um, we'll look at the marketing, but you can just write that out. So describe what's going on. Sometimes it's a bit more obvious. It might be some kind of search or sort or something like that. But yeah, so we can just look at what we've done. We're entering a set of numbers. Once we finish entering the numbers, we enter zero. At that point, we work out the total and the average. So let's have a quick look at the mark scheme. So the mark scheme, you get one mark per correct column. So they're going to look down the columns and check that you've got everything that should be in each column. So um, just looking across here, we look pretty good. We, we've got yeah, we've got everything in the column that they're after. So we've we've got those five marks. And just down here for um, the uh, part B. So one mark per point, maximum of two. The purpose is to add together or find the average of a batch of numbers. The total and average are output when the batch is complete. When zero is entered, a new batch is started. You could also say if you enter minus one, that will that will stop the program. There's a whole, there's quite a few things you could write to pick up marks there. But the main purpose of the uh, algorithm is to find the um, total and average of a batch of numbers. Anyway, so that's a fairly nice one. I'll stop this video now and then we'll move on to question seven. Thank you very much.